Yo, we are back in for question with our Kim. I am our Kim. Y'all know how we do. We get right to it. So let me start off with the story. This month, April, was my daughter's birthday, right? So um, my wife took it upon herself, which she's supposed to do, to decorate the house for my little princess, all right? Uh, my daughter loves princesses, so we gave her a princess party. So... um you know, I'm at work when this happens, right? So I come home from work, and I walk in the house, and I look up in the ceiling, and I see all these princesses. Well, to me, I didn't really realize they were princesses. My wife let me know after I questioned her well, what they were. So when I came home from work, when I saw the house decorated, I walked in the house, I looked up, and she had everything, you know, um, coming falling from the ceiling. Um, and we call it suspended from the ceiling, I guess. And I said to my wife, why do you have all these white women hanging up in my house? Okay. And I said it just like that. And my wife looked at me and said, what are you talking about? Um, I said, who are all these white women hanging up in my house? Okay. And she goes, it's Disney. They're the princesses. So I said, okay, where's Tatiana? So she goes, she's right there. And I said, okay, hmm, you don't see something strange. Something, it's, it's, there's nothing strange about this whole situation to you, right? So what I want you all to do, I'm going to show you the video I took, okay? Uh, okay, I'm going to show you the video. I'm, I'm going to show you the video first, and I'll tell you my take on this, right? Okay, so in this video, um, you see these princesses. So I'll just take your time. Watch them all. I went head to toe, toe to head. I, I know that's Ariel from, uh, we know that's Snow White. I don't know who the hell the first one was. Um, we have Tatiana and whoever that girl is, princess. Okay. We have Ariel and whoever that first princess is. I believe this is the young lady from Aladdin. We have the castle. And then we have the ensemble photo. So I want you to look closely at this photo and tell me what is wrong with this photo. Okay? I'm pretty sure y'all have common sense and y'all can recognize what is wrong with this photo. Right? Look close now. Okay? I don't want to have to, um, you know, help you out and all this kind of stuff, right? So... At the end of the day, I'm pretty sure y'all noticed in the ensemble photo, Tatiana's not there. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. I believe it's like eight princesses. You know, we have the the, the Indian girl from Mulan. Now, understand something. Let me say this first of all. Um, as y'all can see, I'm gray. I'm a little older. So if I say whoever that is, I don't know that princess. It's not because I'm, I'm being rude. It's because I'm older. So... These newer Disney movies I don't watch too often unless I'm watching it with my daughter, but my wife actually does that. So um, that's why I'm not really familiar with them. Also, let me make this disclaimer. I'm not racist in any form or fashion, okay? So, uh, but I'm still a black person, so I'm not racist at all. So anyways, I watch it and I said, you don't notice that Tatiana is missing from this ensemble photo. And she said, yeah, it's a Disney pack. Now, remember I did my video on The Little Mermaid about why Disney is full of shit when they use these um, black animated characters, okay? They're full of shit. It's just a selling point, you know? It's a, uh, what is, what's that called? Advertisement or a promotional tool, okay? So, um, let me give you a little background. In my house when I grew up, white doll babies for girls were not allowed in my house. My father made it very clear. I do not want my daughter playing with white doll babies. Now, there's two reasons for that. Number one, my father did not like white people. Okay, he grew up in South Carolina, and he told me some stories, and he said from, from that day forth, he didn't like white people. Okay, I grew up around white people, not racist. I didn't grow up, I didn't grow up in that time. I'm, I'm black. I deal with the same, you know, certain things, you know, as we all black people do. But 
it doesn't make me bitter or you know angry and frustrated i just navigate around it right um and when i say navigate around it i don't act like it doesn't exist i don't let it hold me back and y'all know my favorite word i do not victimize myself right so um anyway so my dad didn't like you know there was no white doll babies allowed i but now i never asked him i just know for a fact he doesn't like you know he didn't like white people i'm gonna also assume something else which is what I apply in my house. Now, let me go back again. Although my sister was not allowed to have white doll babies, I was allowed to have white Supermans and white G.I. Joes and white He-Man characters, okay? That sounds like a contradiction, but in reality, it's not. So let me move forward. In my house, I told my wife and her family, do not bring no white doll babies in this house. Now, again, I'm not racist in any form or fashion, okay? I love people and women of all kinds. Trust me, right? So, um, but the reason I, now remember I said my dad might have had two reasons. The second reason is I'm going to kind of interject my own, okay, which is what I use in my house, which is that as a man, as a little boy, we don't look at He-Man as, oh, he's a white guy. We look at it, oh, it's big, strong He-Man. Okay, we don't apply that to how we view our own self and our own confidence. And I think with women, that tends to possibly happen. And everybody knows that. You know, we, that's been something that's been talked about for years. That, you know, you, if you have a beautiful dark-skinned baby, but she's always playing with these white, long hair, skinny, you know, big boob. And this is back in the, you know, in the 80s and stuff like that, in the 90s. These big boob, you know, skinny white girl dolls. You don't want her thinking that that is beauty and her having low self-esteem thinking she's not pretty. I don't want my, my daughter being used to grabbing a white doll baby as a princess. I want her playing with a black princess because my daughter is my princess. You understand? Um, so for a long time. Now, this birthday, she actually did get a white doll baby. And I actually was upset because I made, made it clear I didn't want the white doll babies in my house. Okay. But my wife bought it. And, and she said it was a set. It was two princesses that went together or something, she said. I have no idea. Maybe that was a lie. I have no idea. But she bought it, and my daughter plays with both. But I always watch my daughter to see which doll baby she grabs first, right? And she goes back and forth. But my daughter, 24-7, walks around the house. with. We buy her princess dresses. So last night we took her to a princess party. So she wears, I think this, now she's wearing the, the Frozen, the uh, princess from Frozen. That She's wearing that dress all the time. You understand? Now, again... So my son came to me and asked me, he said, Dad, I don't get it. I have, I played with Dragon Ball Z, and they're not black, and I had to explain to him again. How are you looking at them? Are you looking at them and then looking in the mirror going, oh, I don't know karate? No, you're not doing that, you know, or whatever the hell they're using there. Are you looking at them going, hey, you know, oh, my God, I'm not attractive? That might be something that might be something that a female may do. So as a man, as a dad, you want to avoid that. OK, now I could do what people do, which is allow white and doll babies in the house at the same time. That might be the better option. OK, I might be getting to that point. But because I grew up in a house where you weren't allowed, where you were not allowed to have white doll babies as a girl, I was actually OK with that, although I've never been racist a day in my life. OK, um, but I still adopted that attitude and I liked it because I want my daughter first to understand that black is beautiful. You are beautiful. Now, I actually have a light skinned daughter. I don't have a brown skinned daughter. I'm a brown skinned guy, but I have a red bone daughter who, you know, and I got, a, you know, my man, <laughs> my man, Eric. The first thing he says when he describes to me an attractive woman, you know, she light skinned me. I never describe complexion. That's what he does. So I have the stereotypical, automatically, she's cute daughter because she's red bone, because she's light skinned. Um, so that's already something. I'm not going to beat my daughter down for that, but I'm going to, I teach my kids about um, dark beauty as well. Because let me tell you, so my father, when I, I remember being, um, I think middle school, eighth, ninth grade, and that, you know, Back when the, you know, even though it's going on now, like, you know, the, 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 
you don't know what they are, the multiracial video girls, the light-skinned girls with the long hair, the light-skinned girls who look white, or the white girls, or the Hispanic girls in the music videos. And I remember my father, I'm kind of talking kind of fast, right? I remember my father saying to me, why in these videos do these guys always have light-skinned girls with long hair? What's wrong with that girl right there? How come they don't have no dark-skinned girls in there? I, when I say I'm so glad um, 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 my father did that because it put me on notice to make sure I went out of my way because I think I might have done the same thing. Now, I do remember, and first girls I liked were actually brown skin, but I do remember going through this transition where I didn't, I didn't prefer light skin. I just started noticing light skin, okay? Um, actually, guys I know, guys I know, they always say, you know, your type— and I'm like, what's my type? And they say, you know, almost white. I don't know where they get that from. I have no idea. Although my wife is light-skinned, okay? But that's not, um, I didn't choose her because she was uh, light-skinned, okay? It just happened to be. So I think with them, they used to seeing me with um, lighter-skinned females during the times they knew me, okay? But in reality, I have, I've never had a preference as far as lighter dark. And I, and, well, I'm lying, I'm lying. When I did have a preference, it was in eighth grade, and I loved me a brown-skinned girl, so... This is no disrespect to my wife, but I always loved the brown skinned woman. Okay. Um, so, but anyways, going back to what my dad did, my dad made me, when I say me, he didn't sit me down and make me by him saying, why don't, you know, you, you all notice dark skinned girls or why don't you all, you know, show them off in videos. It made me as a young boy make sure I started focusing and giving them just as much as attention as I give any other woman I find attractive. So, thanks to my dad for that. So, um, I do it with my son sometimes indirectly. You know, he's only 10, but um, I do it with my son indirectly. You understand? So uh, y'all, if y'all watched my short film, it was deliberate that the young lady in the film, you know, was brown. Well, she, she, not there, she was brown, but it was deliberate that I made sure she had natural hair. I wanted to show the natural hair. I told her, please make sure your hair is natural. And I, the way she had it is what she asked me, how did I want it? I said, yeah, give me a little afro with the braid. And then, you know, in the other scene where I had her, you know, where she kind of took it all out and everything like that. This was all deliberate, okay? Um, listen to the words when I described her, when, when the father was describing her. These are all deliberate because our young women, they battle with self-esteem issues. Where black men, I don't, I'm not saying we don't, but it's not personified, I think, like a woman is, okay? So um, let me know how y'all feel about that. Do you all allow... Does it matter to you as a um, black person if your child plays with white or white or uh, brown doll, white or black doll babies? Am I a hypocrite for allowing my son to play with white dolls? You know, he has the uh, Captain America and everything. Well, he had it when he played with toys, but he had all those things. I didn't pay it one mind. But you better not bring no white doll baby, no white girl doll baby, be here for my daughter. Am I a hypocrite for that? Okay. Um, I think that's about it. I'm gonna keep it short, man. But yeah, pay attention to that video. Like I said, when I, the video I showed, again, because I was actually infuriated, and it made me go back to the whole point I made about the Little Mermaid film, which I already touched on, okay? It made me go back to that. So if you haven't seen it, go back and watch that one, all right? But I am out of here. Mm -hmm.